All right, guys, so we got another deck list. Uh, this is uh, a new standard. Oko's just been banned, so we're kind of experimenting. This is a gruel list, uh, mostly adventures with some Embercleave nonsense. I, I do have some, some reservations about the innkeeper with the amount of um, adventures. I don't know if it's if that package is necessarily worth it. I'm wondering if like running two more pelt collectors, cutting the uh, Rimrock Knights and the uh, innkeepers, adding something a little bit more impactful on their own might be better. But Rimrock Knight is really good with Embercleave, so who knows? We'll see. Um, we're going to give this a try in a standard event and see how it goes. Standard event. Pay the gold. All right. Let's get some some reps in. Yeah, my um, viewer is suggesting the Collision Colossus, which my list also had uh, in it as well. So, who knows? Maybe that is better. But again, guys, this is um, a deck list that was provided to us by a good friend. So, um, and professional player who's actually going to be co-oping with us later and getting some, some reps in and helping us decide on a final deck. And this person is infinitely better than I am, so I have faith <laughs> in their ability. Am I willing? I, I think I'm willing to attack with this. And then we just hold open... The Bone Crusher? Okay, so we have two ways we can go about this. We can play the Innkeeper and then plan on hard, crush it, hard casting the Bone Crusher and drawing two. Or we can let him play his four drop, end step, kill the Paradise Druid, and then play the Crusher. But what if it's a Wicked Wolf? I don't know. I don't think the Gruel lists are running a Wicked Wolf. So this is going to be like a... Is the friend CGB? No, it's Tom Ross is going to be joining us later. I kind of am fine with just drawing one. I think this is going to be like a, um, what's the 4-4 cat fuck that I'm running? Questing beast. So I think we like kill. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that's the opposite of what we wanted to happen. But they're going to attack me, right? If they attack, we're doing okay. Alright, so this is just the nut low. The nut low just happened. Next turn, we'll be able to innkeeper and crusher at the same time, so we'll just leave that be. Gunner, thank you for the cheer. He didn't tap his druid again, which is a problem. <laughs> I guess it's not that big of a problem. Hasty bits, huh? All right, so this is not that bad. This is like fine. He's gonna be just a smidgen ahead on damage, but not by much. And we get to draw, and we'll just be able to like race. Our guys will, will do do the job necessary here. I think we're just gonna outvalue him. Uh, for those of you guys who are normals, or if you guys are watching this on the uh, YouTube channel, question, what do you guys think of the lighting? Is this better? The backlighting is annoying a little bit, it's glowy, but I have another light here that I'm borrowing. 
curious as to whether or not I should keep it. Or I purchase, purchase one. I'm thinking about making it the next donation goal. I do like the lighting. On my end. I don't know if it looks better for you guys though. I think I just want to go ahead and kill this. Hmm. This is fine. I, maybe I should have switched those. No, I didn't. I actually don't want to switch those. No, 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 that's bad auto-tapping. I was supposed to play the innkeeper. Bad auto-tapper, bad. Naughty, naughty zoot. All right, so the extra cards that we're drawing from the innkeeper and also like forcing him to use his like big removal spell on it. Pretty decent. The thing. Cleaved him? Yep. That's the plan. Questing beasts with Ember Cleave is insane, right? Because it just deals one damage no matter how big their creature is, and then the rest tramples over. Pretty, pretty spicy. Uh, uh hmm. I think it's fine. Never didn't have it. He might burn it, but I'm happy to just cast the Rim Rock Knight. Uh, do I think it will make any sort of comeback? I don't know, in all honesty. I think, I still think Simic Flash is great in best of one. Just soothes my soul. Shocked himself, that's not good. Ooh, the drain though. My deck doesn't have any way of gaining life, which is sad. Before you can pump it, and I also am fine with drawing cards. I think that's fine. And I think I sit. Interesting. A little scary. Making everything larger. So we can play three, four. So we can't do this, this, and this. Okay, that's bad. Um. Is 
So if I kill this, he gets me back for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And 11, 12, 13, 14. We're super close to having him dead. <laughs> super close. That, act that actually might be enough. Because that goes up. That's, that's 12. With the, with the shock ourselves with this. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think it's just like this. It's close, right? We were off by like one or we were off by like two damage. Ooh, that's bad. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we do need to chump something. Mm, this has lifelink, that's real bad. Cleave should be enough now? Maybe not. I guess it's gonna depend on how many he... how he blocks. I don't know, this is complicated blocks. He gains four life there. That first strike is bad. If I ember cleave this. The first strike will actually stop him from gaining life. So he'll take three. Nine, 13. Takes 13 damage and then we die because he'll have two attackers to our one blocker. We're one mana short of being able to cast the innkeeper for another block. Yeah, that was close. That was real close. All we needed to do was come up with a jumper. So maybe we don't attack with one of the guys, but then he just doesn't lose another guy. Yeah, if we don't attack with a guy he can kill with the first striker, then we're doing okay, right? Maybe? It's close. Uh, no. Embercleave can target anything. It's busted. It's just really good in the knight's deck because you have a lot of dudes. Hmm. I think I could have puzzled my way out of that one if I bothered to do the math. That was mostly due to laziness. Love it. Uh, this hand looks kind of slow and poopy, right? We have no one, no three. I think we need to mull and be a little bit more aggressive. This looks like a keep. Bird of Dargan. Only Questing Beast had lifelink? I mean, I think Questing Beast has enough. Let's, <laughs> let's not get too crazy. That card's already quite powerful. Yeah, I'll trade you. <laughs> Otherwise you can just kill anything he wants anyway. What are the chances? I feel like Harpooner might actually come in handy. So, 
he's gonna be running the 4-4. Four four. He's probably running Rankle. Like, he's gotta be running a shit ton of stuff. So, I think I just wanna keep this. Oh, we, maybe we just want him to concede, actually. We scared him. What's up, Zero? Why are you sad? So this is one of the first times we've seen a pelt collector. phone I usually use it as like um a wrist brace like it helps my wrist not feel so bad um hmm we're gonna start with love struck beast I don't think I don't know if getting the counter and pelt collector is worth the damage here no oh. works out as a bait shock myself as little as possible so if we can manage to draw our way out of it all the better he's running light on cards don't crush your giant's a good one but hopefully the reindeer games are over now this shuts down pretty much everything except for the calamities the torberins oh Ob. Um, hmm. <laughs> well, r realistically, we only need two hits with Embercleave to kill him. Also, I would rather kill the Spitter because it's a guaranteed trigger if he draws the Torberin. Um, I guess it's Fabled Passage. And a Pill Collector. I'm gonna go ahead and crack this now before I just forget because I'm stupid. Because, you know, I am. Not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. So I will happily trade these creatures if he sends them. Before he draws into like a second calamity. Yep, send them. Um, no Torberins for you. We only got him twice with Love Struck Beast, so if we can get like another creature blocker. Slacker Dan, welcome. How are you? Ooh, he's playing awfully close to the belt. So now Calamity does nothing, right? And I don't have to worry about the Torberin quite so much. Ugh. That's gross. Hunter's tapped. Oh man. Helpful? Actually, maybe I want to wait and just wait and see if he plays a one drop. That actually might just be better for me. The one drops are scarier than most of his deck, especially the unblockable one. All right. 
We're going for it now, I guess. A little bit rewarded. This is a sort, it's an instant. All right, well, uh, okay, so. I guess we're more likely to want to swing with the questing beast next turn. So we'll just kill this now. Make sure there's no funny business. And then we'll attack him because uh, we want to make sure he's dead to the Embercleave next turn. Maybe I shouldn't have done that and I should have just gotten ready to block it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Top deck mode. If it's a 1 1 haster, we're dead. Okay, I think we got him. So, yeah, we just alpha, pump an ember cleave, right? Whatever he does. That is gonna be lethal, right? We're double striking? Okay, good. <laughs> All right, 3-1. We'll take it. One more win and we break even with the gold and uh, just get to build our collection. Deck's great. Javier is a genius. <laughs> it's great in best of one. Um, this seems questionable. I do like having the Bone Crusher in my opening hand, but I don't like anything. I don't like not having, like, help collectors and things. Oh, wait! Oh, shit. I, I thought I thought I had a green source. I don't. <laughs> Whoops. I was too busy looking at everything else. So good. We had it. We had it the whole time, guys. This is the nut low. Stone cold nut low. So a temple. So this is going to be some sort of fires deck? I want to do this. I guess we actually we didn't need to. Well, yeah, we did actually. <laughs> Torn. I was thinking, yeah. You're glad my stream is so relaxing today? Is it not normally relaxing? So, counter spell would suck. But if we play these two things and he plays the uh, three mana kill all your shit card, deal three damage spell, then we get fucked too. Okay, well this could be worse. Understand. I've played that deck so much and I've never gotten it. Drives me batty. Oh.
Yikes. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery spell, double it. This looks like it's gonna hurt. Bone Crusher dying. So that's the end of his turn, though, right? Okay, that's fine ish. Um. I think if he had a board clear, he would have used it. He can't counter my 1-1 one, one on my turn, so I'm gonna go ahead and just attack with this. Maybe I should have killed this. He can only scry. And deal one damage to me, which is also fine. I feel like we're gonna get in on that. For some reason, I didn't think he could do this. Oh, wow. Now I feel really bad for not killing that. I saw that it was plus two. I didn't I didn't know that that was negative two. Oh, man. We should have killed that. That was bad. I knew better. I actively thought he couldn't... Couldn't, ca couldn't ult him. I made the decision that he couldn't. Hmm, that was dumb. All we had to do was send one one of the things at it. He could have blocked that instead of blocking the 5-5. Five five. So, I mean, I guess it, it doesn't really change too much. Mm -hmm. Scry two top, so we're dead. Listen to the music. Oh boy, I am ready for, for rivals tomorrow. I think a walk. Yeah. That was not a good draw. I'm fairly sure we are going to get board cleared here, but we need to put lethal on the board, right? drawn amp the ambush yes doing it main phase was probably correct it 
Fae of Wishes is so good with fires because you can just get anything you want and cast them. Fry's pretty good. All right, we're gonna scoop them up. I don't think we have any outs. It would have to be like, I mean, maybe we could have hold, held on to the rock, but then we didn't get to draw a card. Like we had one more dragon in the deck, so we could like wait. They can't cast any spells on their turn, so maybe we can piece together two spells of some sort and just not cast them. Feel like we were drawing pretty thin though. The funny thing is, is we actually probably win that if we had the blue, the green source like on time, right? My deck doesn't want to draw green sources for some reason. It's kind of scary. I feel like we've been mulling a bunch. Are we going to draw land? We're on the draw, so yeah. We're going to say we are going to draw land. We're going to be greedy. Because I'm very greedy. Maybe Lovestruck Beast was correct? On the one? Yep. Our greedy gamble is not paying off. We have missed the land. No! Why? Oh gosh! Oh, it's okay. So far he doesn't have it, so it's fine. Fine-ish. Hmm, this is bad. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this now. Pass. He's got two cards in hand. So if we can keep him off the one drops, <laughs> we'll be doing all right. That card's a problem. Especially if he has a hasting, hasting uh, one drop, the unblockable one would just be kind of nuts. So, yikes! <laughs> Sorry, dude. I really don't want you to have a Torberin. <laughs> That was a good draw. Digging the new lighting. Hey, Jace, you're the first person to notice. So I borrowed something from the professor. So I'm gonna, I'm kind of deciding, he gave me two things to try. There's one here and then you can see one on the floor back there. So I'm gonna, I'm playing around with some lighting stuff. This, I like this one. This will probably be on my next donation goal maybe. Four wins! We made all of our gold back, yeah! Hey, we got green sources? What? Get out of town. Hmm. Okay. Scary. Red on the play. No block, sir. Yep. You can you now. Yep.
He has another pump spell? Um... I don't think I'm ready to give it to him yet. We're gonna let him- if he wants to pump it now, then that's fine. But next turn, we could play like Innkeeper and then hold open the Crusher for it, potentially, and present the same blocks. Oh, Skewer. Okay, it's a different list. I think this is fine against him. Who can it? Because we probably want to use something like both of these next turn. Rimrock Knight just because it's a better better target for oh actually maybe that's worse. I'm gonna say it's a better target for the Ember Cleave, but also it just stacks everything onto his shock targets. So maybe having him split is a little better, especially because then the innkeeper can stay back and block one ones where the other guy can never block. So actually I think the other target was probably better. I think that block strategy is better than the like Ember Cleave potential. <laughs> Lands and spells. Oh, no, you don't. No! No! Why? Mm. No more, I say. greedy but I think it makes a good block it also makes it so I mean maybe it was great maybe we, maybe we should just put it into play tapped because next turn we can play this and the guy anyway so we just took two damage we didn't need to take You may sacrifice it when you do target artifact or enchantment, which we don't really need. Have you seen a deck come up consistently? Uh, not really, Laprosaurus. It's been pretty all over the place. We're gonna not chump one more turn. But he's he's already cast two guide mothers, so feels pretty bad. Yeah, 
Yeah, we took that extra damage for no reason. I should be at 12. But if he does Fairy Guide Mother the Love Struck Beast, we can actually kill it with a Harpooner, so we would have been able to do that anyway. So I might regret this. Because he can start getting in with the fairy guide mother. But I think we can race him just fine. Do I want to just questing beast and send or do I want to do this? Another one of these would kill my guy. I would feel pretty bad. Maybe we want to do this. If he doesn't, we'll put a counter on it, because if he doesn't have one of those things, we could just, like, kill it with all these things. Next turn, we can play the Questing Beast and this, draw some cards. That was a good draw. It was a great draw. Gave me breakfast. We're gonna need to draw two cards next turn. It's kind of a lot. target creature. This is tough. Maybe, maybe questing beast wasn't the right answer. Maybe it was supposed to be go bone crusher to draw and then we can present the double blocks. But I don't, I don't know. Maybe just holding back the questing beast was enough. I mean, just having the Vigilant Questing Beast was enough to prevent him from attacking with these two things. Probably was. Yikes. Okay. Um, hmm. Alright, well, let's start drawing, I guess. Trying to tempt me. I, I like this. Because then... Because then we can block pretty much everything. At a negative for him, right? Like this now can block this. He doesn't have any great attacks. He, we take two and we eat two of his guys. Seems fine to me. Him not having an answer for my innkeepers has really helped us. Yeah, this list is really sweet. I am definitely having a lot of fun with it.
Let's draw first and see what happens. I'd love another like bone crusher. Something for me. Bone crusher, bone crusher, bone crusher. How many creatures do we have to attack? One, two, three, four? Yeah, that seems fine. He dies to Embercleave, right? Embercleave on the questing piece? That was a great draw. That was a fantastic draw. One of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. This questing beast only needs to deal two damage to kill both of those things? Spicy. Drawing five cards a turn. Pretty good. All right, six wins, two losses. This one is for all of the marbles. All of them, indeed. Some control decks now that Veil is gone? I think so. I think a lot more of the field is going to be opened up. At least to be like tier 2 or whatever. Walk all over you. Turn 1, turn 2, turn 3. It's okay. Yep. This guy first, for sure. Maybe we should have played Innkeeper and then the second Lovestruck Beast? I don't know. That's a tough one. I just kind of assumed I was going to crush her next turn. But maybe that's not correct. Because now, what if he doesn't play anything? What do we do? Whenever I see the red land, I'm a little hesitant to play the innkeeper. They just give me so much value late game. Being able to cast it into this or whatever is so good. I think I'm just going to cast this. I don't think I need the value on it. The questing beasts. Um. I'm worried about the, the spell that deals damage, like I, the one that I have. But maybe that's just okay. We'll just play our own questing beast. Can't kill them both, right? If he kills one, the other one answers it regardless of how he does it, right? He can put a counter, kill our questing beast, and then Lovestruck Beast can kill it on the next turn. Or vice versa, you can kill the 5-5 five, five and questing beast still trades because they're both death touchy. Unless he has two, but then, I mean, we're not beating that anyway, right? He's also at 11. We have some, some fireball-esque damage in our hand here. There's one! There's two! We did say he could have two. <laughs> wow. Feels bad. Feels so bad. Jeez. Oh, uh, brutal. Burn out the day. Burn out the night. 
Oh, these guys can't block it. Oh no. Wait, okay. So we're just gonna take that and we're gonna go here. I forgot these guys can't double block. So we'll take the questing beast. Oh no, that's Xaxes! Rip. That is Xaxes. He had everything, guys. He had all of them. But we went 6-3. I could have chumped the 5-5 five five under it and then made appropriate blocks, but I don't know that we're getting there. Hey, look, we upgraded uncommon to rare twice, got 40 gems, plus an extra 300 gold and an uncommon. It's pretty good. It's a great way to build a collection, guys. Um, so we'll take another quick look at the um, deck real quick before I um, end the YouTube video. About 50 minutes, kind of perfect. Um, all right, so Questing Beast, the Hellkite's pretty interesting. 12 adventure cards with the Innkeeper package. The Harpooners actually come in to play quite a bit. I don't think we've been playing against decks that we'll see in the main meta in a few days, maybe a month, but um, it's going to do well against... Uh, what, what are we really looking at for the Harpooner? I haven't been playing that much standard, so we're looking for Rankles, we're looking for the Black 4-4, uh, four, four, which kind of fucks people up. Um, I think that's the main thing that we want with the Harpooner. Geese, yeah, yeah, geese are great. Um, yeah, good job, uh, Jen. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Looks like some stupid. But uh, I think that's about it, guys. If you liked the list, I'm going to go ahead and put a link to it down below in the info section. And I'm going to go ahead and keep testing for Twitch Rivals. See you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for checking out my video. Please check the link down below for our sponsor, Card Kingdom. They help me out with making so much of this content. Also, a big thank you to everyone who signed up for my Patreon. Without you, none of this content would be possible.